time is it? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. We normally don't get newcomers at this time of the month. But you are an exception. I almost forgot. But hey, welcome to Cryptic University. Professor Riordan recruited you here, right? <laughs> that figures. He always has a way of tracking down talented heroes like you. <laughs> yes, I called you a hero, darling. I know right now you're nothing more than a confused girl, but this university is meant for people like you. After a few years of training here, you'll know how to properly control and use your powers for your own benefits. You'll be an outstanding hero with unbelievable power. But until then, I'm here to assist you along the way. I'm Kit, and you can think of me as your tool of sorts. Well, not tool in a dumb way, but tool as in I'm useful. <laughs> See, I was born with a power that gives me strong regeneration abilities. If I get cut or scrape my skin, the cells replace themselves almost instantly. And because of my powers, I am very useful to newcomers here. If there's a vampire student who joins, it's not a big deal because I'm basically a never-ending blood bank and my body restores itself just as fast as they drink. And in your case, you're a succubus, correct? Mm. <laughs> so cute. Like I was saying, in your case, you gain energy from kissing people and draining their life force. Well, you can drain as much as you'd like from me without fear of overexhausting or killing me. Because again, my power will regenerate my energy as fast as you take it. So there's no fear of overdoing things. <laughs> Don't get so flustered over that. It's not a big deal. It's just how you get your power. And I'm there to be a vessel for you to get it. Plus, don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been eyeing me up. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything since you're a succubus and all. I mean, it's expected of you to maybe look a little longer than you should. But you aren't just a succubus. You're a shy succubus. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have so much fun teasing you. Now then, you had a very long bus ride, and there's no need to put things off. Why don't I show you to your room, help you unpack, and then you can try draining my energy, and we'll see how it goes. Wow. You really didn't pack too much, did you? I mean, sure, we didn't expect you to pack everything you own, but you literally only brought clothes and hygiene products. I mean, most people bring pictures or keepsakes from their friends and family. Uh, seriously? Mm. It was hard making friends as a succubus. I understand. But hey, it's not going to be so hard here. I mean, I've never met another succubus before, but there are vampire students, some people with mind control and telekinetic powers. I mean, this is kind of the place where all of us weirdos can actually be normal. I think you'll fit in great here. Anyways... You're pretty tired, huh? Well, do you want to use me to charge up? 
<laughs> I'm sorry if that's a weird way of wording it. I don't really know how to just ask if... If you want to kiss me. Do I want to? I mean, this is my job. This is just what I do. Hey, I appreciate the concern, but seriously, you better start the kisses before I get tired and leave. I... I mean... I... I don't really know. When I first came to the school, I... Oh God, this is embarrassing. I kinda had a crush on a vampire girl, and, well, we were together, and I asked her to feed on me, and we were both really dumb, and, uh, how do I put this? You know, we just really liked each other, and she kinda lost control a bit, and she drained a lot of blood. I mean, a lot. And afterwards, she got really worried and, you know, she thought she had messed up really badly. So she called the professor, but, you know, after just a few minutes, I was perfectly fine. My blood was restored to my body, and since then, the school realized that they could use me. They always had issues on how to deal with certain students that had specific needs, like vampires, or in your case, succubus. But having someone who could take the feeding and energy drainings over and over and over again? Well, that was a really convenient solution. Since then, I've kind of been the university's tool. When a new student comes in, I help them unpack and also let them, well, show them that they're allowed to feed on me. The first few times, I kind of liked it. I felt like I had a purpose, and it was kind of exciting for me. It was a new experience, you know? But now it's just... I don't know. I've come to realize that no one here actually values me. And when a fellow student feeds on me, they basically do it and just tell me to leave afterwards. Well, they don't say that exactly, but that's what it feels like, you know? It's that energy that comes off of someone when you can tell they just don't want you to be around. I've taken what I need from you. Now be gone until next time. That's what it feels like. I don't know. I'm sorry for rambling. It's just... <laughs> as simple as what you did was, I really appreciate you at least asking me if I want to do this instead of just taking what you want like everyone else. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm kissing you. <laughs> I know what I just said. But I don't feel like a tool right now. I just want to kiss you. <laughs> I told you you were a cutie, didn't I? Mm-hmm.